Well, when the players run on to Adelaide Oval in a few hours, they'll be accompanied by 23 Indigenous youngsters. They'll include children from the Ghana Plains School, who, with the help of the Crows Children's Foundation and club partner Bendigo Bank, met their heroes earlier in the week. As the bank's mighty mascots, they'll wear special Guernseys, which pay tribute to Adelaide's past and present Indigenous players. The kids from Ghana Plains Primary School are here this morning. Um, we presented them with our, with our jerseys, um, so they'll get to take that um, with them and they'll have them on um, for Sunday's game. There's 23 lucky kids that are going to be in the Guard of Honour um, and that'll represent the 23 past Indigenous players that have, have played for the Adelaide Crows. So I'm pretty sure they'll be um, pretty excited to be able to get on Adelaide Oval in front of a big crowd. Well, welcome to the LA Footy Club. We've got some special Guernseys for each of you. Now, the Guernseys have some of our current players' names on them and some of our famous past players. I am really excited to be a part of this football team with these guys. Just getting the community involved um, is something I think is the most important thing now um, with Indigenous Round. A pretty important week, Indigenous Round, but also Recon Reconciliation Week. Um, so the kids have got a few things in store for them this week. We play stuck in the mud with the footballs and um, we were trying to kick the footballs over there and um, yeah, it was really fun. All these up and coming Indigenous kids, um, you know, the next generation, you know, most of them probably want to be AFL footballers when they, when they get older. I feel pretty happy for the kids just to get the opportunity to, you know, step foot on um, Adelaide Oval. A lot of these kids probably never even been to a game of footy before and they watch, you know, their favourite players on TV every weekend. So I know it's something that I wish I had when I was younger, um, growing up in Alice Springs. So um, I'm sure there'll be a few sleepless nights this week, um, just counting down the days to Sunday.